Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off the haptic feedback or maybe like your vibrations on your controller and when you're playing on Steam on the PC. So this is easy to do. So we can go on over to our library and go to our collection here and just go to the game that you want to turn off the haptic feedback for. So here's Battle Bit Remastered. Go on down to Controllers and go to View Controller Settings. And then under here, we can look for the specific controller. Uh, so I have my PlayStation 4 controller connected and we can go to edit the layout right here and we can select this. Then we can find the option for it under here. So we have buttons, D-pad, uh, triggers. So we can go to here and then uh, we have joysticks. So once we go to joysticks, we want to go to the right joystick, go to settings, and this is going to bring us to this screen where we have more controller sticks. So this is just for a right thumbstick. We can change the dead zones. But right here it has haptics, haptic intensity. We can turn off the haptic feedback right here. Then we also have output. We can look at this. Here's haptics under here. Dead zone, odors, and haptics. Okay, so we can turn it off right there. So that's how you turn off the triggers. But we can go back to Steam and go to settings. And then go to controller and then under here we can go to calibration and advanced settings open and then we can go to i believe it's output settings and here's the vibration game rumble so you have this in a couple different areas so you have to turn off the haptic feedback per game and then you can uh, turn off the vibration on your controller across all games right there so that's how you can turn it off but hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six tech.